Okay, next up we have Highlander Galakrond Rogue. One copy of every card. Dragon Queen Alex Straza, Tusk Rain and Kronks. Zephyrus, some great Shadow Step targets. And of course, Flick Sky Shift for when you want to stab some people in the gut. Because that's the number one way you're going to win games in Hearthstone, folks. By stabbing your opponent in the gut. Both in game and in real life. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay, so whose gut are we going to stab on this beautiful day? Hunter! Oh god, hunters eat rogues! Hunters eat rogues! Mm, seal Fate. I like Seal Fate for face stalkers. Uh, Ziliax for healing is always good. It's my only source of heal, I believe. Does CM Mad give lifesteal? No, it doesn't. Feral Cat on one feels really nice though. Especially if I can get a two cost reborn. Oh, Restless Mummy is like amazing. Yeah, Toxic. Uh, this is the highest win rate card if, you, um, if you're a hunter. I can probably play this when I have low health to get free heals, right? How does Zephyrus work? Does it know I'm going to play against a hunter and give me something I can heal with? Uh, what's like vanilla heal card? Healing touch, 3 mana heal for 8. He's just going to hero power each turn, huh? I don't know how Zephyrus work. Does it give me a heal card? No. What? Zephyrus, I need a heal! Okay, we can shadow step Zephyrus for later. So I need to be low health for Zephyrus to work. Oh wait, Zephyrus will know to give me a Acidic Swamp Boost here, right? Wait, he actually kills my Zephyrus? Why? If I play this, this won't be upgraded, right? But mana efficiency dictates I play this. No tomb can hold me. Mm. I can still shadow stab my Zilliax at the very least. I have an Acidic Swamp please. I can just taunt up for now too. A hero power here. Hell annoying, but I just need to find my ooze, right? Oh, eight damage to the face. That's fine. That's really good to Zilliaxon, actually. I'm gonna clear so he doesn't have a way to uh, ping out my Zilliax shield. Mm. That's fine. That's fine. He's using a lot of cards to deal with. do that, right? I might need to start hitting him in the face a little bit. Holy water. If he doesn't heal me. Bubble, bubble. That belongs in a museum. Damn, one mana short. How much is this worth to you? Justice is mine. If he unleashes the hound here, that's five units, right? Maybe I shouldn't have played one more, but I need to be able to kill him next turn. Right. Actually, it does have a leash to hound. Trading? Oh, not trading. Uh, well, the s'more curse is going to become the s'more key, right? Let's 
Sometimes you smork, and sometimes you get smorked. Woo. God, such a hunter infestation on ladder. But we're doing our part purging it. Another hunter. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I like Seal Fate again for the face stalker. But we don't have a one drop or a two drop, so it's a little scary. Especially if he has the Dwarven Sharpshooter on turn one. That one would be annoying. Like extra, extra annoying. Spring Paw. Oh, it's um, Highland the Hunter then. Thailand the hunter, the game would be a little slower, but still hunter is gonna hunter. Hunter gonna be what hunter gonna be. Which is really, really bad news for Rogue. That's okay. Unless it's a uh, snake trap. But Justice is mine. Ah, the snake trap. If I don't kill it and leave up a secret, then he can play that um, four mana seven seven card, right? Of course, it's Huffer. Well, at least Huffer I can kill with the Seal Fate compared to the other beast. So maybe Huffer was fine. Maybe Huffer was not the worst thing. You can tell this guy's playing on an iPad or it's a bot. I think he's just playing on an iPad or an iPhone. He's got to click and drag these cards. Tap and tap and hold. I think Liak would have been worse because each of these would have had plus one damage, right? Hello? Hunter? You okay there, buddy? There you go. There you go, buddy. Oh, is it just a roper? I hope not. Interesting. Titanic Lackey is not terrible because it gives you taunts. Hmm. What else can we do though? We could snip snap Titanic Lackey it. That would be pretty nice. Might be in for a longer game if he's going to rope every turn. But we're not going to let this hunter get away. He's not going to AFK me out out of a win. Oh, he's actually gonna rope it. Oh, okay, maybe not. I think we'll do this. We just need to stop these chip damage from getting in any further. It's Highland the Hunter, so he should run like one of every secret. That's not. Great. I hope it's not freezing trap. I want to backstab and then trade the one one in. If it's freezing trap, kind of screws me just a little bit. A safe play would be to trade this in. Test if it's freezing. If it's not, I just silly axe and trade that in. I think that is a safer play. There you go. This way, I don't have to expend my backstab ahead of time. Worked out pretty well, if I do say so myself. This is gonna be gonna give me some fat heals unless he has an easy way to deal with it. He has a dragon. He discovered a dragon, and he has a spring paw one one. Top deck Zephyrus. Hopefully, he doesn't get spellbreaker. Oh god, does Zephyrus know to give spellbreaker? Oh, Hex. Eh, not as bad as Spellbreaker, I want to say. Do we Kronx here? Plus green means efforts. We can always Kronx. Does he invoke once more? He could play his Brand. I guess it, him playing Brand would be bad. I can Zephyrus and then maybe find a Hex. Oh, Roaster. That's okay, just because it like dies really well to Eviscerate. Obviously, losing a 6-6 six, six is sad. Very sad. But it could be worse. 
I don't think we've played any non rogue cards yet for Test Green main. This guy's gonna rogue me some more. Even though he's on zero mana. What can we talk about in the meantime? Nope, never mind. There we go. Not a bad one. Galakron could give us some tempo, but I have a lot of one cost unit left in my deck. Which makes Galakron super risky. That's not bad. These two snakes have dealt, I think, over 10 damage combined. And if he has Bran, I think he has lethal, right? I might have to Galakron and hope to God I don't hit anything below two cost. Like I'm definitely gonna Koba Lackey that, no question. But if he has Brand and Hero Power, that's ten damage burst. I'm at twelve health. God, these snakes. You know, I'm starting to think this guy's just on a really weak internet connection. God, I hope this hits something good. Dark in the skies, uh, three. Oh, okay, hit the Edwin. What does this mean? How about a new? Okay, we don't need this Edwin to be that big, right? There's much better things to Shadow Step, like Zephyrus. A 12-12 is like, you know, a, as big as a 16-16. Oh, what a combo. Yeah, thank god we didn't overcommit. What can Zephyrus, can Zephyrus give us a big game hunter? Is that in his pool? Ooh, Siamat's real nice here. Uh, Rush and Divine Shield. What's the perfect card, Zephyrus? Tyrion Ford Ring, is he? Is he the perfect card? I don't know if I agree with you there. I mean, I guess you're never sad to see Tyrion. Oh god. Wait a second, this play looks real familiar. It's a two mana card that deals with Siamat. Well, I'll pl uh, Frostbolt. I Let's sell uh, Flybreeder. Put your faith in the light. Well, having double one ones help. Well, it's not gonna hurt. Right. I want to save Zephyr, Shadow says Zephyr for healing, or do I want a random lackey for two mana? Well, two one ones on the board help. It's not gonna hurt, but a random lackey can be anything, right? Like a rush lackey, or a damage lackey. Not half bad. Just kind of concerned about taking too much damage. It is Highlander Hunter, which means you know. Brand bronze beard to the face is always scary. He did a mark shot the shield. Maybe he's looking for something off mark shot that can ping the shield off. Or maybe he has something to ping the shield off. Oh right, the one one. If he gets six damage to my face with Siamat, it's really, really scary. Okay, that's good, that's good. This Titanic Lackey is gonna be really important. Mm. 
Zarox Crown versus draw cards. I feel like I need draw cards. Or tempo. Maybe tempo's more important. I guess I don't need I, I think I need tempo. Uh all these suck. I think green skin's tempo. Thanos gives me two cards. Not exactly the strongest legendaries ever, but not the worst. Damn, maybe I should have gone for draw. I don't know. I just have so much like one cost and two cost. If I hit those, then it's really sad. Neither of us have drawn Dragon Queen Alex Straza yet. Dragon Queen Alex Straza is going to be big. My test Greyman gives me one Tyrion, and that's it, which is not bad at all. Why oh, rush? Four mana left. He has a random Hunter spell and a Mech he drew. Probably Zilliax or Snip Snap. But it came from the left, I believe, so it's not Snip Snap. Vendetta. Completely unusable. We could just summon Tyrion. I kind of like that play a lot. You know, just have a free Tyrion. Why not? He's played an Unleashed a Hound already, right? Can he kill me? I'm at 15 health with the Divine Shield 6-6 six, six Taunt. He used Unleashed a Hound. He used Varanus. He used the Zephyrus. He hasn't used Bran or Dragon Queen Alex Raza yet. But neither have I. Zul'jin is big. It's probably the best thing he could have drawn off the top of his deck, which he just did. Huffer is a lot of damage. Mark shotting his Huffer, however, works to our advantage. Okay, Hexing. Yeah, Hexing's actually not half bad here. It's gonna trade one dog in, then another dog, and then the 5-5. Five five. But he has a Snake Trap and a Freezing Trap. He'll need to trade as much as he can on the whole count of I might kill him, which is not so good for him. He's going to trade the 1-1 one, one to the 6-1, and then the 2-3 into the 1-1. One, one. Okay, let's pretend he didn't mess that up. And this is a freezing. How would I have played this? I'm going to treat it as if he didn't mess it up. That means I would have rushed this in, and this would have been freezing, right? And the trade he would have made, he would have used the 1-1 one, to kill my 6-1, and then the 2-3 to kill my 1-1 one, one to prevent the freezing trap. And then I would have lethal by hitting face, hitting face, hitting face. It's my honorable way of winning by making a line of play that would have won if he didn't miss his two attacks at the end. Actually, no, his Snip Snap. Yeah, his Snip Snap could have attacked, yes. So that's why I traded my test into the 1-1 one, one, and my 1-1 one, one, to his 2-3. It's not BM. It's just, that's how it would have played out. GG's. Hey, lights out.